The NFL draft was much different this year, but football fans starving for an actual live event seem to really like it. Yeah, the three day virtual draft shattered records with more than 55 million viewers. Tonight, Jamie Edmonds talks to Bob Quinn about how he feels the Lions did this time around. This was Bob Quinn's fifth draft with the Lions, and many are saying this was his most successful one. The draft went off without a hitch, so the virtual stuff was no issues for us. And um, really, really excited uh, about what we did here this weekend and um, can't wait to hopefully get these guys in person as soon as we can. Bob Quinn seemed at ease after day three of the draft, happy with his nine selections, starting with a third pick overall, Jeff Akuda. Very, very good length, good speed, very good coverage ability, a great tackler, really a complete corner in our eyes, in our opinion. Um, you know, corners come in all shapes and sizes and he kind of, you know, fits the mold of a, um, a top flight corner. Quinn then went out and got a running back in DeAndre Swift at 35, one he hopes will complement carry on Johnson. Different kind of back, you know, a um, little bit shorter, a little bit thicker, uh, runs lower to the ground. Um, you know, this guy's really good in the open field, um, makes guys miss in space, uh, big playability. Uh, catches the ball well out of the backfield. After that, the Lions field needs an edge rusher, a few guards, a wide receiver, a running back, and two defensive tackles. Quinn says this virtual draft went extremely well. The Lions IT department setup was perfect, including that Winnebago out front with backup. We had a lot of people in the neighborhood coming over taking pictures. Quinn told the media on the last day he actually liked being in his house with his kids right there helping him cross the names of players from the big board. And they were in here with my office the entire draft. So I thought that was really, really cool. They didn't miss a player. Um, so that's really important because when you're getting down to the end of the draft in seventh round, you're trying to look at the best names possible to sign as rookie free agents. And, you know, we have a lot going on with the computer screens and the draft board. And I was staring at that and my kids had it right. So I'm excited about that. Now that he and his staff have worked from home and done it well, Quinn says he may consider giving everyone a better work-life balance moving forward. You guys know how important my family is to me. Um, you guys saw my kids on TV all weekend. I thought that was cool for them, but um, it's hard. You know, it's hard being a, a coach in this league. It's hard being a scout in this league. It's hard being a GM in this league when you're away all the time or in the office all the time. So. If we can figure out a better work-life balance for the months of, you know, February, March, and April, I'm all for it. So what's next? Well, the Lions veterans will start an off-season program virtually tomorrow. As for the rookies, that's still all up in the air. Bob Quinn will still be working from home, planning everything out until he gets word from the NFL that they all can return to the facilities. Steve, Sandra, back to you. All right, Jamie, and during the draft, the NFL actually helped raise more than $100 million for coronavirus relief. Yeah, that money will go to help various charities, including Salvation Army, American Red Cross, Feeding America, and a whole lot more. Before the draft, the NFL and its players already had donated more than $76 million to coronavirus relief. So good weekend all around for the NFL.